Random Thoughts Boxing. Fair enough. That's what I'll call it. Random Thoughts Boxing. You know what I like that. I'm sticking with that. It's this Brother Black Spider. And let's get into these random thoughts that I got in my head. Devin Alexander and Victor Ortiz are meeting each other in the February 17th Texas Bout. That one is going to be fun. It's two veterans that I grew up watching finally meeting. What I would like to see is what happened early in the decade. It's better now than never. And both are coming into this bout with wins. Devin just won the decision not too long ago against Walter Castillo. And Victor has recently stopped Saul Corral. And I had no idea that Devin was really going through it. He, he was addicted to pain pills. And after reading this story, it's really amazing that he's still here. Honestly, the fact that he's still continuing his career is even more amazing. That's off to him. Now, if this one can remain solid, this is going to be one of the best bouts of 2018. Terrence Crawford and Jeff Horn have made an agreement to meet. The only thing now is that contracts need to be figured out. I got Terrence stopping Horn in seven. See, I, I saw the Pacquiao bout that he had. And honestly, the ref would have been justified in stopping that bout. But he continued on, and Jeff got the win. That's going to, that, phew, I already said it. Terrence stopping Horn in seven. Lucas Matisse. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Lucas Matisse is on the combat trail. He's, he's going to be meeting T.Y. Karim. I hope I'm saying that right, too. I think this one is for, it's for a title. Yes, it is. It's going, to, it's going down on the 27th of this month. I admit, I might be, I'm going to be missing this one because it's not going to be televised. I'm going to try and catch it on YouTube. But i tell you one bout I'm not going to miss. I'm not going to miss the Lamont Peterson Errol Spence bout. That's going down in about a week from now. I got Spence winning, but I wouldn't be surprised if Lamont's hustles a decision win. You can't count out the crafty veteran. And you know what I can't believe? I cannot believe that the Triple G Canelo bout hasn't been set up yet. I mean, they... They're pulling out the contracts and they haven't even signed them yet. That is insane. Whew. I really hope that the stars align so Kell Brook can get that bout against Amir Khan he wants. You see, Kell Brook is retiring after this year. I think he has three bouts on his contract before he's completely done and, and, and can leave the boxing ring scot-free. I got Khan getting the decision for that one. And if he can come clean, Luis Ortiz, in my opinion, is a big threat to, to Deontay Wilder's title reign. Like, that, it, it's really crazy that, that we're talking about Deontay Wilder as a champion now. Because it was only yesterday that Deontay had bouts in basketball gym against overweight heavyweights he has really come a long way and it has been fun watching his career progress and I, I gotta give another salute to John Pascal he retired back in December and I made a post about it on Tumblr I was laughing at that post his verbal exchange with Bernard Hopkins to me will always be hilarious I the fact that John Pascal told Bernard Hopkins to take the desk, take the desk because he thought he was doping or something will always have me rolling. And when they got to sit down with Max Kellerman and talk to each other, it's it's just instant classic. It's, it's funny. Absolutely funny. And a Hall of Fame salute to, to B-Hop. It's crazy that Dan Raphael suggested that, that he meets Green for his last bout. And B-Hop 
actually made the bout. And for those who don't know how that bout went down, I, I it, it just feels like B Hop may may want to go back in there again because it, that bout was embarrassing. Last year, last year was a great time to be a boxing fan. And this year, this year it looks like it's going to continue to be that way. All the young talent getting the spotlight put on them. And, and, and the veterans are getting the spotlight put on them as well. And I, I cannot wait. It is a great time to be a boxing fan. Last year was spectacular. This year, with all the other bouts, even the ones I didn't mention, it's a lot of it's a lot of heat coming down in the next few months. Whew. That's all I gotta say. This is Brother Black Spider, and I am out. Peace.